Eternal Blue, this time on Metasploit Minute. Metasploit Minute is brought to you by viewers like you. If you get value from the show and can spare just a dollar, please consider contributing at metasploitminute.com. Hello and welcome to Metasploit Minute, the breakdown on breaking in. I'm your host Rob Fuller, but you can call me Mubix. Today we're going to be talking about Eternal Blue, or MS-17010. Now a lot of you have probably heard about MS-08067. That's in 2008, a bug that was pretty widely known pretty quickly. Um, it's very stable, it's a wonderful exploit that have been, has been around and pretty much every Metasploit video on the planet has been used to um, demo that particular exploit. Now we're going to be talking about basically it's, its younger cousin, MS-1710. And this came out uh, from the equation group, uh, discovered and the, uh, let's just look at it. Uh, there's a lot of information about it. One of the particular things about this exploit is that it tells you when it wins, so winning. Um, however, unlike MS-0867, it's at a kernel level versus a user level. Um, so if something goes wrong, you are blue screening the box. So let's try this out and hopefully it doesn't blue screen while I try and do this demo. All right, the very first thing is we just search for Eternal Blue. We have an auxiliary scanner and an exploit. So let's just go with the auxiliary scanner. Set our R host. Now the R host for us is already set to the 192.168.223.133. This is our Metasploitable 3 box. So if you've built Metasploitable 3, as our last two videos have shown, you have something that's vulnerable to MS-17010 or, or 010. The reason for that is because out of the gate, Windows 2008, 64-bit is what's built by Metasploitable 3. So let's see if this rings true. So go ahead and run it. Host is likely vulnerable with an exclamation point. That's, that means it's probably vulnerable. That exclamation port, you know, is important. All right. So time to exploit things. Let's go back up, scroll up, scroll down. Let's take that exploit, copy it out. Use options, verify architecture. This is important. Now, uh, Metasploitable uh, two or three is a is a Windows Server two thousand eight R two sixty four bit. This module is set up for Windows seven or Server two thousand eight Metasploit uh, sixty four bit. Now, Eternal Blue itself, the MS-1710, MS is actually exploitable from Windows 10 all the way down to, some say, XP or 2000. So, however, the Metasploit module itself only handles server 2008, R2, and, and Windows 7. So if you feel froggy and want to do some uh, exploit development, you can probably add more targets to this. So let's try this. All right, we just look through. All of the groom deltas and allocations are correct. Info, we can look through this. Yep, such as a blue screen of death or reboot can cause instability. So get permission first. All right, options, set payload, ooh, payload, windows. Notice that it selects the 64-bit payload right off the gate. This is a 64-bit exploit. So you will have to, if you have a handler running on the same port with a different architecture, x86 by default, uh, then you're going to have to either sp uh, pick a different port or set up your handler somewhere else. So let's do interpreter and let's do reverse TCP. The reason I'm picking TCP is only because the stability of TCP in this particular instance is better. HTTP and HTTPS can sometimes crash just on itself or are too big for these types of exploits. So, and most of the time when you're exploiting something like this over SMB, you're not going for a, a shell to come back over HTTP. So stability in this case, particularly for this kernel-based exploit, is important. So L port to 
8888 or whatever you wish, something other than 4444. Make sure our options are correct again. Again, notice that I'm taking extra care in this particular exploit because it is a kernel level exploit that can crash the machine. If it's a server, luckily this is Metasploitable 3, so we know that we're not really worried about it. But if this is a server for a customer, you better make sure that you are okay with what you're doing and you're definitely exploitable and whatever it crashes can come back up. Have your point of contact on speed dial. All right, sending all the Malforum packets. This is very verbose, as you can see. We have our interpreter session. Winning! <laughs> there we go, we're good. We have a shell. Get you ID. Because this is a kernel level exploit, this is definitely going to be system no matter what you do. This is, uh, this is exploiting how SMB works in the back end of it. Um, and we got a shell. We're done. That's how things are going to operate on this level. So that's Eternal Blue and some of the caveats to running it. Let me know what you think. Email me, msf at hack5.org. And stay tuned to Metasploit Minute for more shows like these. And a huge thanks to everyone for supporting the show. If you want to support the show directly, go to patreon.com slash mubix. Every dollar goes towards making the show even better just for you. I'm very grateful for your support. So until next time, I'm Mubix and I'll be hacking till the cows come home.